We're here in the Cathedral Quarter on the Church Lane at the new mural of the iconic photograph of St. Eunan's Cathedral and Church Lane taken at the start of the 20th century. This will be the first in Ireland where the mural will be of uh, this iconic photograph on the same street and from the viewpoint of the photographer Robert French. Uh, now we have an uh, interview with artist Kieran Dunleavy on the process of recreating that image. With this one, uh, it all had to be tiled out and projected in kind of sections. Because of the scaffolding that you kind of had to work around it. So um, you're recreating that, you're sort of projecting it up as one way of getting it onto the wall. Or you can tile it out as a, you can see all these kind of red square tiles and just to make sure everything's to scale. And then technically, I don't use a paintbrush that much. I'd be using uh, an airbrush. So a lot of people don't really know what an airbrush is. If you imagine like a spray can, it's a very fine version of that. So it's a little pen. So when you're spraying, it gives you incredibly soft lines or you can get sharp lines. So uh, depending on how close you hold it to the wall. The airbrush and that for years, and um, it was when we were getting art lessons off one of the kind of advanced airbrush artists, he was saying that the airbrush is a really old tool. Like, um, if you simplify it down, what years ago when you'd cave painting and that, to chew the berries, you'd have a piece of bamboo or a hollow piece of wood or something like that. You put your hand up to the wall and they just, you know, air pressure and um, all the berries that kind of splatter, kind of, you know, onto the wall. And then they'd take the hand off and they'd leave the trace of the hand. And that's how the cave painting started. And then they'd be using animal hairs and then they eventually made paintbrushes and stuff like that. But the oldest, yeah, one of the oldest air tools is a, a very, very simple version of an airbrush. I don't know if that made me interested in it or not, but it's, it's something that kind of resonates with you to use. I, I love using it. It's very soft. Um, you can just, you can get to the level of details that I like to get to when you're trying to recreate an image like this, you know. Um, yeah, the reason why I like doing it, I suppose, it does, it goes back to, yeah, it does go back to cave painting if you think about it, like, you know, um, decorating walls to look nice. I suppose that's why it always grabbed me. I liked, when I was uh, younger even, going through school, secondary school, I did tend to go larger scale work the whole time, so the teachers were eventually giving me all blackbirds to work on bigger scale. The auntie got me into doing murals when I was about 15, when she came back from America, so I researched all that. And then I ended up just getting onto gradually larger scale, more detailed stuff, and definitely in the last few years, it's, it's, it's in the last five, six, seven years, kind of. It's really started to venture into doing heritage murals, like uh, bringing parts of, maybe you're like bringing poets back to life on walls, or you're creating old old scenes of uh, Ireland past on the walls again. So that's really coming into an area that I'd be interested in myself. Really fascinated with painting, you know. Yeah, it's a celebration and a reflection of it, you know. And they pick this image, and usually when I'm doing the mural, I'd pick the image. But if I had a research, I couldn't have found a better image to put on it. So it's a brilliant idea. Uh, just transporting people back into a memory of what it looked like a hundred years ago, you know, so, yeah. That was artist Kieran Dunleavy talking about the process of creating the mural. Come along to see the new mural and all its glory. <laughs>